people, it's Alison from Virtuali and I thought today that I would make a video to show you how to download a new Zoom if you're invited to take part in a Zoom meeting. And obviously with the coronavirus, a lot, a lot of us um, are working now remotely from home or are self-isolating and can't go out. So Zoom has become a bit of a lifeline to a lot of people to conduct meetings remotely instead. So I'm just going to show you what to do if you receive uh, an invitation to do a meeting via Zoom. And let's just use the example that you're in a committee, you're going to have a committee meeting virtually and the secretary has sent you a calendar invite with the Zoom uh, link. So the first thing you do is you go to your computer or your phone, whichever, whichever is easiest for you, and you do download the Zoom, um, the Zoom uh, application. So it's the website you'll see is zoom.us and it brings you to a page like this. And then you'll see at uh, the um, top side here, there is join a meeting. And all you do is you, you paste in um, from whatever source you got the calendar, the invitation to the meeting, you source in the code and the, co the code to join a meeting is normally always nine digits. Now the host maybe can set up a, a password protected meeting as well, but most that I have participated in are just a, a general code. So when that happens, you then press join. And you'll see then that there's a pop-up box, open Zoom meetings. And then it brings us to this screen here. And there is a test. Um, you have a test button here, join audio. So you can press the join audio button. It says test speaker and microphone, which will test your own just to make sure both are working. So it's worth to do this even 10 minutes before or you know whenever you can before the meeting's due to start. And that way you can test if everything's working. So I'm gonna press that. You'll see it will make a noise. And then the next thing it will do, it will test my voice. So I'll press yes. Hello, 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 testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, 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 testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, press yes, and then you press finish. And when you have done that, i just move my little button here. Um, we can start the video. Now, when I first was invited to Loom <laughs> Zoom meetings, I really dreaded starting the video. And I, a lot of the time I didn't start it, but actually for the host, it's much easier and nicer if you actually have a face to talk to. Um, you can set a background as well, but sometimes it's just nicer to have a face. So be brave, be brave, start your video. And here you go, you appear like this. And I'll just go walk through the different buttons that are here at the bottom. So for the chat button, say for example, that the host has invited you to a meeting, you're in the meeting like this, and you can't hear the host. Um, you can actually type in here, I can't hear you, send it, and then everyone will see it. I think because the host isn't here, obviously at the moment I set this up as a test, there is, a, um, I think normally here it says to host or to host and everyone. And it's the same if you take part in a webinar, it sort of, um, it lets you reply to the host or to all attendees. You can also attach a file here if you want to. Um, and you can share in links there. If anybody wants to share a link for anything, you can put it in there too, which is fantastic. And if you have a problem and maybe there's a lot of noise suddenly in your background, you can mute yourself, but the host can also mute all attendees when they actually start the meeting. And the other thing to point out, because I just forgot to do it myself, is always remember to look at your camera on your computer, because I have a I have a webcam above my um, my screen. So always remember to look at the, uh, the camera when you're talking and also be careful about your background. Um, I have my pop up here behind me and that's what I always have up there. So that's quite handy. But just be careful that your background isn't very messy or you have important documents lying around that people can see. And please, you know, Please be decent, decently dressed, at least from the waist up. You can wear whatever you want on the bottom, but people will see the top of your head. So just be, you know, just be cautious, um, not cautious, but, you know, 
mindful, mindful of that is what I want to say. You can also share your screen. So the host can share their screen, but you can also share something on your screen if you need to as well, which is really, really handy. And um, we'll just press that. So you can do your own screen. You can do different screens that you have open, documents, um, calendar, whatever it is you have, um, which is really, really handy as well. So I'll just close that. And then the very end, normally the host will end the meeting, but you can also leave. If you have to leave the meeting for some reason, you can leave the meeting. So we're just going to leave the meeting and you'll see this button will come up, leave the meeting, and that will bring us back to the Zoom page. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, if you ever want to even have a test, if you're a bit nervous about going on for the first time, please don't hesitate to contact me and we can arrange that. I hope that's helpful. And this is Alison from Virtually Admin.